If you ever wanted to be a policeman that hunts down the drug syndicate, well, you might have your chance with this indie game right here, Rico. We're gonna go over this game. Is it worth it? Should you buy it for the Nintendo Switch? Well, let's go ahead and get into it. As I mentioned, the story to Rico is pretty simple. You are a policeman and you are part of a police department, a special division chasing down the drug syndicate and you have 24 hours to do so. Now there are various bosses in various areas and you go to different areas and you go and you find evidence and you sabotage and you do all sorts of things. It's a pretty neat game. But story-wise, that's pretty much it. Everything else is just in the game and within the gameplay. So we'll go ahead and talk about that. So the gameplay is pretty simple. You run, you walk around, you shoot, you slide, you shoot. It, it's it's pretty simple. It's a fairly simple first person shooter game. You go on various missions within one lifespan. You only get one life to do this and that's why they say it takes 24 hours. You get one life to do this. As you go through each mission, you get merits, which allows you to purchase more guns or more health or more gadgets to, to help you out throughout the mission. You get certain tasks within each mission, and if you complete those tasks, the more merits you get, and you kind of get the gist there. It's a performance-based type of game. The gameplay is actually pretty fun. The gameplay is actually pretty fluent. I really did enjoy the gunplay. I did enjoy a lot of the other mechanics of the game. The game is a very, very solid game. Now, as far as graphics go, I mean, it's very similar and reminiscent of Borderlands. It has that cartoony, cell shady feel to it. I actually did enjoy it. It really did give this game some character. This game is not your typical, you know, run and shoot type of game. I mean, the, the cell shading really makes this game stick out. And I would assume that the cell shading also helps out with a lot of the game mechanics as well. Now, the gunfire sounds, I gotta be honest, aren't the best when i first fired off the pistol i literally was taken aback for a second and i was just kind of like oh this doesn't exactly sound like i think it would sound but you know that's really my biggest complaint as far as the gameplay and sound effects goes just the gunplay that's it other than that solid gameplay Now, as you guys know, I'm always big into music. I'm always big into the music. The music is what sort of attracts me to a game. And the music in this game in the beginning, it's got a very New York hip hop feel. Now in the game, there's not much music playing, if, if any at all, but in the menus and the pregame and all that stuff, the music is very solid. Like I said, New York hip hop. I'm a big sucker for New York hip hop. So as soon as I saw the trailer for this game, that was part of the reason I was attracted to this game. So I have to give the music a good solid. I thoroughly do enjoy the music in the soundtrack. Now this game is in the Nintendo eShop for $19.99. Would I suggest that you pick this game up and play it? Well, it really just depends on what you're into. I hate to be cliche in that way, but really it does. If I had to be honest with y'all, this is probably not a game that I would have played if not I had gotten a code for it because I have plenty of other games to play in my backlog. This game does have many ways to play. You can play with your friends. You can do daily missions to get more points. There are plenty of ways to play this game that do add some replayability to it. So if you're into this kind of game, if you're into a shoot 'em up, if you like the cell shading, go ahead and, and, and pick it up. But for me personally, I wouldn't have. And I just got to be honest with y'all. But I I can suggest this game if you're into the genre if you do like the artwork the game is solid 100 so let me know what you think in the comments will you pick this game up will you give it a try or will you just pass on it let me know this has been nintendo direct don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more nintendo indie reviews thank you guys for stopping by i'll catch you guys later